Hi friends, I'm Ala, sketch illustrator and watercolorist. On today's video on YouTube, I want to share with you the unboxing process of these 12 plus 3 uh, Van Gogh pens of watercolors from Royal Talents. It is a great uh, palette because the first thing is that it is small and it is very comfortable to use for urban sketches or during your travel sketching. Uh, I received this box as a present, but uh, it was a really great pre present because I was looking for something like this for some time. Uh, if you are following me along on my YouTube channel, you already know that I'm using 36 pans uh, watercolors from Nevska Palitra and uh, White Knights. And uh, as far as you know, it is a great palette, but, uh, but uh, the uh, worst thing is that it is too big and it is not always easy to carry on while traveling. Here in Barcelona I'm taking it, but uh, while traveling I avoid to take it. I take colored pencils or anything else to create my sketches. So this beautiful box will follow me along on my future travel. have a pocket box of 12 Royal Talents pens from Van Gogh. It is a student and uh, artist uh, palette. Today I will show you all the colors, but let's do the unboxing till the end. Here we have, here we have different colors and let's unbox the dogs. Uh, the color, well, if the first color is uh, Chinese white. Oh, here I have to open from here. Oh, I thought that I have to open each one, but already I have to just take it off. Okay. A paintbrush. Paintbrush is number synthetics and it is number six. I would say that it is really good enough. And I will use it now while working. Oh, here you see it. How easy. We have this paintbrush. And here on the paintbrush we have this kind of form that helps us to take off this palette. And we can have two palettes. What looks amazing. Now let's make some watches to see each color. I prepared a small palette that I will include it here. That will go ev everywhere I go with me. And in this way I will have all the colors as I need it. And let's get started with my paintbrush and with water. So let's move with white. It is a Chinese white, what means we will not be able to see any color, only if mixing with another color. The next color is Kinacridon Rose. And we can see a really beautiful color. And now we will take more water to see how we can make the wash. Let's take more color. The next one we have Russian blue color. And we take more water to make the wash to see how the color will be in lighter color. The next one we have burnt uh, umber. I see the colors really beautiful, bright, clean. It is said that it is a, a student pen, but I would say that it is not worse than any uh, artist uh, that I'm working with. Here we have paints grey. This color I really love. It is great to create some beautiful contrast with this color. It is a cold color and create really nice effects. Moving on with the lemon yellow. Lemon yellow is a cold color. Even if it is a yellow color we can see that it is more like neon and we use it more for than, than when we need 
the light to to have a cooler light in nature. Then we have permanent red light color. I'm adding in this way more water to watercolor because it's my first time I use it, but usually I'm not using so much color. Taking water. Beautiful wash. Next one, ultramarine deep. I'm curious to see this ultramarine deep. Oh, this is amazing. I love it. Very beautiful. And let's make the transition. I took so much water. Sub green color. Oh, beautiful. I was expecting a darker color of green, but this uh, sh uh, shade of green I really enjoyed. Ochre color. Ochre color is one of the colors that you need in any palette. Specifically, if you go to make some urban sketching, you don't have to miss this color. Azo yellow medium. Okay, this is beautiful too. Look how lovely the transition comes on. Matter Lake Deep. Okay, this is an interesting one. I didn't know this kind of color. Okay, I know it. In my Nevsky Palitra I have it too. Beautiful. Uh, now, because I'm using this paintbrush, I want to specify that the paintbrush is very uh, pleasant to use. The synthetics is really quality, high quality, and um, even if it is small, it is quite uh, good. I, I don't feel uncomfortable. It is a really comfortable paintbrush. Let's take with cerulean blue. Oh, I love this too beautiful shades of the sky you can make with this color i was i saw when i uh, when i was checking on the web about these watercolors what i have found is that many people told that there are no three blues and i see now exactly the opposite so we have this one two and three blue colors okay viridian green i suppose it is more like turquoise Yes, I was right. Good transition, great. For the water, now in summertime, if you go to the sea, it is an amazing watercolor. And the last one is burnt sienna. Okay, this one as well I use a lot for architecture. So if you are doing urban sketching, it will work perfectly. So I'm finishing with the washes of these watercolors and what I want to say is that I really enjoy the colors. The colors are really beautiful, bright and for being a student grade um, watercolors I would say that it is a high quality. Uh, it is uh, very comfortable to use for urban sketching. I'm sure that I will enjoy it a lot working with these watercolors and that uh, um, the colors are exactly like I was expecting nothing uh, less. Uh, I saw some um, few not good uh, reviews about it, but uh, I can assure you that even if this video on YouTube is not sponsored and it is my own decision to make this video, I want to say that the, this palette is amazing and I really love it. Now, last step what I do, I will dry this palette and I will take this paper tin and we'll do it on it on the paper. So I played a little bit around with these uh, packetings, with, and you can see that I put all these packetings on these colors. I think that it is a really cute way to have the colors exactly how those are and have at least as, as well the numbers of each of the pig pigments uh, which color is exactly how it is called and uh, as well if you are um, 
more experimented in the painting in watercolors you can already know that we have these um, pluses to sh that show us how resistant are these colors to fading away and as far as we see we have three pluses in each color what means that uh, those have a really high uh, quality and that if the watercolors is exposed to the sun it uh, has uh, less possibilities to fade away obviously even though um, there is no advice that you expose uh, watercolors to the sun uh, try to avoid these kind of things and uh, here a part of the uh, how it is called we have the pigments that were used we have uh, different pigments on each color uh, and we can see that uh, some of the colors are created from one pigment only and others that are, have more complicated color we see that have two pigments included like uh, burned umber, paints gray and sub green cerulean, uh, cerulean blue as a yellow medium and burnt sienna all those are created from two pigments what makes the uh, color more interesting and complicated this means that if there are two pigments on this color that uh, if we want to make some uh, watercolors uh, we need to uh, add, um, to mix up as many as another one color and that's it because if no uh, the watercolor won't be transparent it, it will lose its transparency and now i will save this beautiful palette here and we'll have it always with me like this and this okay i found forget dear friends let me know how did you like this process of unboxing of 12 plus 3 pens from watercolors of van gogh if you have any questions if you have any thoughts please share those in comments and if you have anything specifically that I, you would like me to share here on the youtube channel please as well write down on the comments i will try to make videos for you to share new materials thank you don't forget to subscribe uh, push the um, bell button and to like this video.